Welcome back, Poway Unified School District. This is your Kuya Matt. Magandang umaga. Let's get started on our new lesson in Filipino. Handa na ba kayo? Let's get going. So we were we learned a lot last week from lesson two and three. And does anyone remember what we did? That's right, we did counting. We counted from one through 10, 11 through 19, and the tens to 100. Does anyone remember how to say the word for counting in Filipino? If you said Pamilang, you are correct. Pamilang means to count in Filipino. So these were what we learned. 1 through 10, 11 through 19, and the 10s to 100. For this week, we have a brand new lesson on something that I love a lot. Remember, I love to cook. And food is our next lesson. We say, Pagkain. 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 For food. So, as you may know, food is a huge part of all the cultures in the world. And they tell a specific story. Each one of these has a historical significance to the Philippines and are some of the most popular Filipino foods that you can find. We have here on our left side a delicious plate of adobo. Can we all say adobo? Very good. Now the word adobo comes from the Spanish word adobo, meaning to marinate. The adobo, however, is not a Spanish dish. It's only named using Spanish, adobo. And adobo is made primarily with garlic, soy sauce, and vinegar. Adobo. Mm. Next we have lumpia. Lumpia. Now this dish is very, very similar to the Chinese egg roll. Right? And that is not a coincidence. The lumpia is said to believe is said to come from China. From the Chinese word lum pia. Lun pia. And we have another one. We have kare kare. Kare kare. And this is a peanut stew. And this is believed to be inspired by the food from India because of their use of curry. And if you were to translate this to English, it would be curry curry. Kare kare. Next, we have a noodle dish from or called pancit pancit and this is also believed to come from China as well they call it piancit piancit 
And this is a noodle dish from the Philippines. And there are so many different kind of variations of the pancit where the noodles are changed from egg noodles to rice noodles to mung bean noodles. And those all have specific names as well. Pancit. It's very similar to chow mein, right? I'm sure we've all tried that. And here in the middle, we have pinak but. Pinak but. Pinak but. And that sounds like a funny word because of the, the ending for but. But, oop. <laughs> pinak but is a dish from the northern part of the Philippines where my parents are from, the Ilocos region. And this is a dish with um, many, many kinds of different vegetables put together in a, in a tomato kind of sauce. And you can put uh, pork inside and it's very delicious. Oh, and flavored with um, a fermented fish sauce called bagoong bagoong it's one of my favorite foods and finally here on this side we have the sinigang 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 and this is a sour soup made with the tamarind um fruit, uh, immature tamarind fruit. So if you've tried tamarind before, it's you probably tasted it in its sweeter form, um, but it's still a little sour. Um, and that's really delicious. But we use the immature um, tamarind and crush it and take out the seeds and we put it in the soup to make it super, 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 super sour. And we put all kinds of different vegetables inside. You can use, you can change it from shrimp or fish or um, meat like uh, pork. And this is believed to have some connection to uh, the country Thailand for their for their uh, sour soups as well. So this is just a little introduction of some of the food that you might find in the Philippines. We are very, very diverse, um, taking inspiration and influence from different countries. Um, and that's what makes our food so delicious. So if you're ready to learn more, let's keep on going. And so there's been a lot of rain lately and my daughter has been feeling a little sick. And we called Lolo to come over and prepare us a dish so that we can feel much better. So let's cook something with Lolo. So what could we, what would be a good dish to eat when you're feeling sick? Hmm. Did someone say soup? That's a perfect idea. There is a soup from the Philippines that would be perfect for this situation. It's called tinolang manok. So let's cook it together. Magluto tayo ng tinolang manok. Magluto tayo ng tinolang manok. But wait! Lolo doesn't want us speaking any English. He says, Sabihin mo sa akin ang mga sangkap. Pero bawal mag English. He says, tell me the ingredients. 
but don't use English. Let's see. I wasn't sure about the ingredients, so I searched it up on the web. And this is what I found. Tinolang manok. This is what it looks like. And I found the ingredients in English right here. But I need your help in completing it in Filipino. So I have it here on the right side. We need to fill it in. Since we practiced how to count, I'm sure you'll do perfectly fine. So do you remember how to say two? That's right, dalawa. And we're connecting it to this other phrase here. So we need to put ng at the end. And so that's why I added the ng here for everyone. Okay. So let's say two tablespoons of oil. Right. Dalawang kuchara ng mantika. Dalawang kuchara ng mantika. Very good. Let's move on. One chicken. I have the word here for chicken. Manok. Manok. Very good. So what was one again? Isa. Very good. So we say, isang manok. Isang manok. So the next three, I'm having trouble in finding these words, but I'm going to get your help. But let's do the numbers first. Two. What do we say there? Right. We did it already. Dalawang. Dalawang. Very good. Let's move on. Three pieces of ginger. What's three? Right. Tatlo. So we say tatlong. Tatlong piraso ng blank. Let's say that again. Tatlong piraso ng blank. Very good. Moving on. Four cloves of garlic. Four cloves of garlic. What's four? Right. Apat. Apat na butil ng blank. Apat na butil ng blank. Very good. Next we have water or tubig. Tubig. Too big. Very good. And one green papaya. Isang papayang hilaw. Moving on. Moringa greens. Moringa greens. Moringa is a type of plant that you can find all over the Philippines and it has lots of medicinal properties. So it's very healthy for you. And so, we say, Dahon ng malunggay. Dahon ng malunggay. Dahon, meaning leaves, and malunggay is the plant. Dahon ng malunggay. Very good. And finally, we have Two chilies. Two chilies. What was two again? Dalawa. Very good. And we connect it to another word using the ng. Dalawang. Dalawang sili. Dalawang sili. Very good. Now that we have this, let's listen to a song called Bahay Kubo. Can we all say Bahay Kubo together? Bahay Kubo. Let's check it out. And look for these words. Onion, ginger, 
and garlic. Onion, ginger, and garlic. you guys get it? Let's try it again. So did anyone catch those words? Let's see. For onion, we say sibuyas. 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 Very good. And for ginger, we have luya. Luya Tatlong piraso ng luya Very good Now we have garlic We say bawang Bawang Very good Apat na butil ng bawang Apat na butil ng bawang Great we have all our ingredients. We're, we're ready to tell Lolo. So let's tell Lolo all the ingredients. Lolo, you need kailangan mo ng very good dalawang kuchara ng mantika dalawang kuchara ng Mantika. Very good. Moving on. Isang manok. Isang manok. Next. Dalawang sibuyas. Dalawang sibuyas. Next. Tatlong piraso ng luya. Tatlong piraso ng luya. Very good. And then we have apat na butil ng bawang. Apat na butil ng bawang. Very good. Tubig. 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 Next, we need isang papayang hilaw. Isang papayang hilaw. We also need dahon ng malunggay. Dahon ng malunggay. And finally, dalawang sili. Dalawang sili. So let's watch Lolo cook our tinolang manok.
Ooh. Oil. What was oil? Mantika. An onion. Sibuyas. Sibuyas. Garlic. Bawang. And finally, ginger. Luya. Halo, halo. Halo, halo. Chicken. Manok. Manok. Halo, halo. Halo, halo. Here we have salt. We say asin. Asin. Halo, halo. Now we're adding the water. In this case, they're using rice water. We say too big. Too big. And here they're putting lemongrass. And we call that tanglad. Tanglad. In each household, they have their own variation of these recipes. And you can choose and pick, uh, pick and choose what you don't want. But the three main ingredients are sibuyas, bawang, at luya. And then we add our papayang hilaw. Papayang hilaw. And here, fish sauce. We say patis. Patis. And they added black pepper. We say it. Paminta. Paminta. And here they're adding uh, pepper leaves. But you can use any kind of leaves. And in our recipe, we have dahon ng malunggay. Dahon ng malunggay. And you just wait a couple seconds. And it's all cooked. Look at that. Our perfect bowl of tinolang manok. Mm. So after we've eaten all our tinolang manok, what do we say to Lolo? Salamat po, Lolo! Salamat po, Lolo. And Lolo says, Walang anuman. Walang anuman. For, you're welcome. So, I hope you enjoyed learning about Filipino food and learning how to cook the tinolang manok. Let's take a small quiz. What was the Filipino word for chicken? If you said manok, you are correct. Very good. Manok. Moving on. What was the Filipino word for onion? If you said sibuyas, you are correct. Sibuyas. Next, what was the Filipino word for garlic? If you said bawang, you are correct. And finally, what was the Filipino word for ginger? If you said luya, you are absolutely correct. So if you enjoyed learning about our dish for today, the tinolang manok, please try it at home. Visit our 
videos on YouTube or ask your teachers for the slides and try cooking the Tinolang Manok with your family, especially on these cold days. I'll see you again next week. Paalam!